talent in the valley. Talent in the valley. Talent in the valley. Gentlemen, welcome again to Talent in the Valley, the program that showcases outstanding regional talent. And with me is outstanding regional talent and Phoenicia resident Rick Altman, who plays the vibes. And uh, we're going to play songs old and new. We're going to play some uh, standards that you might know and some originals written by Rick. And um, starting off, we're going to play a song written a long time ago called The Days of Wine and Roses. <laughs>
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. That was The Days of Wine and Roses, played by my guest Rick Altman and myself. Good evening, Rick. Good evening. How you doing? Mm, it's too soon to tell. <laughs> nice to see but you we're again. we're hopeful. <laughs> well, one can always hope, you know. Yes. So, uh, welcome to the show. This is Talent in the Valley, if anyone's interested. And um, I wanted to find out what you've been doing lately. Um, what you've been up to. I'm spending a lot of time playing in Mount Tremper, which is the area I live in. I mm -hmm. work at the uh, Catamount Cafe a lot there. It's on Route 28? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, spending a lot of time on weekends playing there with uh, Mike D'Amico and John Minigan. Oh, yeah, some fine local players. Yeah. yeah. Internationally known. Um, you're playing what times uh, most of the time? We usually play 7.30 to 11.30 on Saturdays there. Uh-huh. Are you, are you were telling me at one point you're doing the jazz brunch up there? Is that still we going were, on? We were, but, but uh, for the season that's, that's stopped, and we'll probably go back during the winter, but just too many other things got in the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a nice, they've rebuilt that place quite a bit, I imagine. Yeah, yeah they have, they've done a great job there. Yeah. How long have you been up there? Almost a year now. Yeah? Yeah, started uh, last winter. Great. It's a wonderful gig. Yeah, and it's a, it's a great room to play. It's uh, almost entirely made of wood, so it's very uh, complimentary to the instruments we use there. Yeah, yeah. And you're just doing um, duos and trios? Mostly trios, yeah. Mostly yeah. guitar vibes and uh, acoustic bass. Yeah. Do um, you get any singers up there or anything? Uh, sometimes. In fact, a friend of yours, Sandy Lomax, works there mm -hmm. sometimes, as well as uh, Betty McDonald works there. Yeah. Terry Royger works there sometimes. A lot of good local talent up there? Great. Yeah. Yeah, they're giving a lot of people work and keeping us all busy. That's, that's what musicians need. Yes. That's for sure. Um, and you moved up uh, in this area uh, some time ago, did you not? Uh, I moved up into the Hudson Valley in 91. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it's never been the same, actually, since <laughs> I've arrived. <laughs> Just hold them back, hold That's them back. Right. <laughs> well, um, we're gonna, you also write music as a, in addition to playing it. Mm -hmm. I, amazing I, thing. I do what I can. Yeah. <laughs> and our next tune that we're going to be playing is um, a composition of yours called Sassy. Uh, tell us a little bit about the, the tune. Uh, I was actually working in a, a nightclub uh, just a little south of this area uh, called Sassy's for quite some time. And it just seemed, w as soon as I wrote, wrote the line, I knew what the attitude of the song was. And therefore, the title just seemed, seemed obvious right from the beginning. When did you write the song? Uh, probably been a couple of years now since I wrote this. Well, it's a fun little song. We're going to play it. It's called Sassy. Two, three.
Welcome back to Talent in the Valley, the program that, uh, anyway, the program that uh, showcases outstanding regional talent. I'll get it right some point or another. And my guest is Rick Altman. I'm Mike Ralph. And um, Rick, we've discussed, hey, thank you very much. Nice to, nice to meet you. Thank you. I, thank I you was wondering back. if you were going to introduce us. <laughs> This well, is why I have him on the show, you know, okay. what can I do? Um, well, you've come to this area in 1991, you were saying. Yeah. And um, where did you come from? Uh, Los Angeles originally, then New York City, then the Hudson Valley. Mm -hmm. So you grew up in the Los Angeles area? Yes. And um, according to your bio that you gave me, I'm not sure if it's true or not. Well, what kind of guess if it's, it's true? It's not. I made a lot of that up. Okay. Well, it did say that you did land on the moon at some point. Uh, is that, that possible? No. I don't remember. <laughs> anyway, it did say that you studied with um, Vibe's great Terry Gibbs yes, for some did. time. That yes, seems I to did. be a pivotal point in your career. Yeah, that had a lot to do with uh, my learning and uh, my inspiration and so forth. Uh, what uh, what things did he? What kind of things did he teach you? Well, besides the obvious, yeah, the mechanics of playing, whatever. Yeah. Uh, a lot about professionalism. A mm -hmm. lot of things that I think a lot of people miss. A lot of people who maybe have studied with somebody who's a very good teacher, but perhaps a teacher and not a performer. Right. He being a, a full-time performer was able to give me a lot of tips on literally not just how to play the instrument, but how to be a performer. Right. And they're actually uh, not always one and the same. No, sure, sure. There's a lot of other things that need to go into performing other than being a musician. Yes, yeah, certainly. And um, you're certainly a colorful character. Um, I learned that from him as well. <laughs> Um, and then you moved, uh, while you were in L.A., did you, uh, it also mentions in here that you played with Steve Allen for well, several actually, years. Well, actually, I was didn't play with Steve Allen. I worked on the Steve Allen show for years. What's, uh, what exactly did you do um, I was the, the actual Allen? lead manager slash contractor of the orchestra. How big was the band? Um, most of the time it was about 13, 14 piece band. Quite a job. Uh, it gave me a chance to work with people who I grew up listening to because uh, the band was led by Terry Gibbs, so he uh, filled it with just some of the giants of the jazz industry who were all in Los Angeles doing television shows at the time. Yeah, for those people who don't know, Terry Gibbs was one of the earliest, um, he was the, the next generation of Vibes players in, after the bebop era. Is that uh, or maybe you, even more a part of it. Part I would of the think. Era? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. There was uh, the swing era, if you want to call it that, which Lionel Hampton and Red Norvo were a part of. And then the next generation was Terry Gibbs and Milt Jackson and. Uh, Bobby Hutcherson, perhaps? No, I think Bobby came up, probably was in the next group. You okay. know, about every 10 years, there was sort of a, another generation of vibes players. Uh huh, uh huh. And then you're the next generation. It well, seems. A, a, few, a few generations, I like to think. <laughs> Anyway, um, that sounds like quite a, quite a performing and managing feat there. It was, it was, yeah. yeah. yeah it was a and lot of what work. prompted you to move to the East Coast? Um, I got a chance to come here with a jazz group, uh, came to New York, and was just completely flabbergasted by all the great players that were so accessible that uh, were not accessible in Los Angeles, although Los Angeles had a lot of great players because I grew up there after a while I probably took a lot of them for granted. Yeah. Uh, came to New York, saw all the East Coast players, whom of course I'd never met, mm -hmm. and was just so excited about the whole thing that I just, at that point, immediately had to move to New York. Great, great. Um, and we're gonna be playing a tune that I'm sure you played at that point a yes. lot of times. Yes. It's called Body and Soul. Yes, I'm still trying to get it right. Oh, so are we, are we all, so are we all. And uh, we're gonna be playing that now.
Talent in the Valley, the show that showcases outstanding regional talent. And as you've uh, probably seen, if you're just joining us, my guest is Rick Altman, who's outstanding in his region. He's outstanding in whatever region he happens to Actually, be in. Actually, I'm outstanding in a cornfield right now. It's just <laughs> You just think I'm here. I'll just let you stand out there in a cornfield. Okay. Um, so we've been talking about your present, we've been talking about your past, and now what's up for the future for Rick Altman? Well, um, the last Sunday of August, I believe it's the 30th, we're going to be doing a concert here at the West Strand Park in Kingston, which will feature Mike D'Amico, Steve Russ playing bass, and Bill Eckert playing drums. Uh, a lot of great musicians, a lot of great musicians. In yeah, this band. is going to be the fourth year we've, we've done a concert there during the summer. Kingston hires a lot of uh, good local talent, and uh, we're you know, very happy to be a part of uh, what they do every year there. And it's a nice place to play. You're playing oh, it's, right, it's beautiful. right by the gazebo there. happens right at sunset. Uh, you get a lot of folks uh, parked in the marina on their boats enjoying the music as well as a lot of people seated in front of the stage. Yeah, it's a beautiful place to play and a great play chance to hear some great musicians such as Rick Altman. And... Um, so you're going to be continuing at the Catamount Cafe as well, right? Yeah, I'll be there at least through October right now. That's, that's what we're scheduled to appear there approximately twice a month. Okay, and that's up on Route 28? Yeah, and, uh, you know, people can call and find out who's uh, performing there on any given weekend. Yeah. So some places to check out my guest, Rick Altman, and we're going to check out a little bit more with Rick playing a tune called Milestones. I guess it's written by Miles Davis. Miles Davis, right. Yes. What a thing. Name a tune after yourself. You know, some people. Yep. So thank you very much for joining us. And uh, for Talent in the Valley, my name is Mike Ralph. And uh, join us again next time when we'll have more outstanding regional talent. Go to it.